So if you can remember how this looks, what I'm going to do now is talk about how we bring that fruit into the winery and how it's so important in terms of site-specific winemaking. So I think that you all understand that when we crush grapes, we put them in a big tank and we use this vessel to ferment in. At the bottom of the tank, this is where seeds fall out. Seeds are heavy, so they fall to the bottom of the tank. The skins rise to sort of middle of the tank and they float on the wine. And this is where the wine sits. And this is the cap, which is where all the grapes are. But the most important part of the tank is where the wine and the cap interact. So the cap floats on this wine. And this area here is very, very hot because that's where all the yeast are. That's where the alcohol's forming. And this piece ferments very, very quickly. So what we choose to do is we take wine from the bottom of the tank and we pump it over the top of the tank. And by doing that, we mitigate this temperature and spread out that heat a little bit more. And the more often that we pump it over, the, uh, the less we'll have that extraction occurring in the middle of the tank. But this, we started to think about what do we do when we pump over? Well, what we're really doing is we are extracting the heck out of these berries by doing that because we're providing more and more wine going through this cap and these skins can become quite dry through time so we actually don't want to do too much so if we take a vineyard going back here oop, if we take the middle of the slope here we know that these wines or these tannins are going to be quite different to these tannins so these tannins here we may want to extract a lot out of because there's not a lot of them whereas the tannins from this block here we may not want to extract very much at all so we can do that in the winery we can do that by shorter pump overs. So if we use shorter pump overs, we're not going to extract as much. Whereas if we use longer pump overs, we can extract more. The same thing can occur with temperature. So we may ferment at 90 degrees Fahrenheit versus say 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So if we allow the temperature to go up to 90 degrees, we're going to extract a lot more as well. If we keep the temperature down at 75 degrees, we'll extract a little bit less. And the other thing that we can control is the amount of time that we have on skins. So after fermentation occurs, so fermentation, which is yeast fermenting sugar to alcohol, takes about 7 to 10 days. But we like to keep the wines on skins for up to 40 days. Well, what we can do is we can also can control the temperature of that tank during these extra days. So after the 10 days is over, we can warm that tank up or cool that tank down, depending on what sort of tannins we want. If we want to have more tannins, we can cool the tank down. If we want to have less tannins, we can warm the tank up. And when we warm the tanks up, we're speeding up this thing you hear often people talk about polymerization of tannins or softening of tannins. Well, that's sort of what that is. If we speed up, if we lift up the temperature, we're speeding up that reaction. So you know how wines move from purple to red to brown to orange as red wines get older? Well, that's, that's part of what's going on. If we can make that wines remain purple and red for a longer period of time by taking out all the unstable tannins during the fermentation, they won't go to brown or orange as quickly as wines used to. So we try to keep those wines young and fresh, but at the same time we want those tannins to be soft and balanced and supple, and we'll do that through the extraction. So site-specific winemaking is about bringing the grapes into the winery, fermenting them at the correct temperature, whether it's high or low, pumping them over, for long periods or short periods, and then what we do with the temperature of that fermenter after the wines are finished fermenting. If we warm it up, we soften the tannins. If we cool it down, we leave the tannins in suspension. So high extraction, high fermentation, lots of pump overs, cool temperatures, low extraction, cool temperature during fermentation, short pump overs, and high temperatures during maceration. And that's how site-specific winemaking comes to fruition in the winery.